Hello everyone, welcome to my new After Effects tutorials. Today I am going to create this simple logo reveal animation using shape motions. First create a new composition and name it as main, and set the resolution as 1920 by 1080 pixels, and the duration to 3 sets and then hit OK. Create a new solid for our background and name it BG, and I have set the color to light blue, as you can chose your own color. Next I will import my logo. And drop it on the main composition. And move the logo layers to top. Then press S key to scale down the logo layer and set to around 80%, cool. Now create a new shape layer. And add ellipse shape with selecting of the shape layer. Also add fill effect as well, and set to white color but we will change it later. Let's make some changes by expanding transform presets. First reduce opacity to 80%, so that I can see the logo while increase the ellipse shape. Increase the scale, till cover enough the logo, and then set the opacity to 100 again. Now make a duplicate of it by pressing Ctrl plus D and I call it Stroke 1, and name the previous layers as Circle. Now let's make some adjustment. I will delete the fill effects and apply stroke preset. Set the stroke width to 5, and change the line cup type to round cup. Now increase the scale where it is outbound from the circle. Again make another duplicate of it and do the same adjustment, as we did for stroke 1. Ok. Now we have completed our shape layers to start our animation, let's select stroke 2 and hide other layers by clicking the eye icons. Now add trim path by selecting the stroke 2 layer, and let add some keyframes for our trim path animation. Now we can see this animation. Now select both start keyframe and move where the first keyframe is light on fifth frame. Then select both start and end presets last keyframes, and shift to complete as one second. Now we have got this cool animation, but not finished yet. Let's add some offset effects by 180 degrees to get more attractive animation. To do this let's add a keyframe at 0 frame and set then move to around 1 second keyframe and set the value to 180 degrees. Now select all keyframes, and easy ease them. Now we have such cool offset animation. Cool. Now make duplicate twice of it, and shift the layers by 2 frames each. Let's change the color of each shape layer, so that we can see the layer animation individually. As you can see I have set light blue, pink and yellow respectively, but you can choose your own color. Now we can see a nice offset movement.
Now let's do the same for stroke 1 layer as well. Now add trim path. But here I need the rotation direction to opposite from stroke 2. So the start and end presets value should be set to 100, and then to 0. Rest of the setting will be the same that we have done for stroke 2 layer, and let's continue the same. And let's add some keyframes for our trim path animation. So finally we will have a nice shape animation as we can see here. Let's move to our final animation part. Select the circle layer, and make it visible, also hide the other layers. By selecting circle layer, add radial wipe effects to it. Let's make some changes to it. First set wipe direction to counterclockwise, and make transition completion value to 100, at 0 keyframe. Then move to around 30th keyframe and make the transition value to 0. Also set a keyframe for wipe presets effects and chose clockwise direction. Then go to around 1 second and 10 frame, and set the transition value to 100 again. Now we can see the circle is completing first round in 30 seconds with counterclockwise, and then wiped out in clockwise direction. Hence we can see our logo. But let's make some slow motion at the middle half of the animation by setting a keyframe, when completing 90% of the transition. Then shift the keyframe to around 12th frame. Easy ease the selected keyframes as I am doing it here. So we can get a nice radial wipe animation at the end. As soon as completing the first transition animation, let's set start to visible our logo by hitting Alt plus left open bracket from the keyboard. So the logo will be visible with the clockwise wipe transition. Now we have almost completed our animation. 
But in order to match the stroke's animation, let's make some duplicate of it, so we can get a nice logo reveal animation. Choose the same color where I have chosen for first two strokes shape layers. And shift the layers as much as visible during the animation. So finally we can get the animation like this. If you like my tutorials, please hit the like and subscribe button for more exciting future tutorials. Thank you for watching and see you next week.